Hello dear students, welcome back to Biovidyalaya. I hope you all are doing very well. Today in this lecture video we are going to discuss about role of RB protein in cell cycle regulation. I took this topic from CSAR net license syllabus that means cell cycle and cancer. This is an important topic for your CSAR net examination. So please try to watch this video till the end without skipping and also please share this video with your friends if you find it helpful. So let's start. So before going into the topic I will give you an overview about cell cycle. So what is meant by cell cycle? A cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides. That means the cell cycle is occurring in the cell that is a series of ordered events. In that event, growth of cell is occurring, duplication of DNA and other organisms is occurring and finally the division of cytoplasm that means cytokinesis is occurring and finally we will get two daughter cells that is cell cycle. So cell cycle is a series of events that takes place in a cell as it grows and divides. And there are four major stages in cell cycle G1, S, G2 and M. Cell cycle has different stages called G1, S, G2 and M. See this picture. Here you can see that this is G1 phase. In this phase cell growth is occurring. Okay. That is called gap phase 1. G1 phase means gap phase 1. Next is S phase synthesis phase and in this synthesis phase only DNA synthesis is occurring. Duplication of DNA or the replication of DNA is occurring in this S phase. G2 phase means gap phase 2. In this phase further cell growth is occurring. Okay. So this G1, S and G2 phase all together is known as interphase or preparatory phase. Okay. So, in this interface only, DNA, sorry, cell is preparing for cell division. Okay, in this interface, cell is preparing for cell division. So, it is known as preparatory phase. Okay, and finally, M phase, that means mitotic phase. In this M phase, mitosis and cytokinesis is occurring. Mitosis means prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase and cytokinesis means division of cytoplasm to produce two daughter cells. Okay, so formation of two daughter cells is occurring in this M phase. And there is another state or a stage called G0 stage. G0 stage. Some Non-dividing cells in the multicellular organism then generally enter into a resting stage or a quiescent stage called G0 state from G1 stage. And that cell that will remain in this resting stage or the quiescent stage for long period of time. For example, kidney cells. Okay, so G0 means it is quiescent stage or resting stage okay and this interface is the longest phase okay a cell spends most of its time in interface and during it uh, this time it grows and replicates its chromosome and prepare for cell division the cell then leaves interface undergoes mitosis and complete its division okay so the progression of cell cycle from one stage to the next stage is depending upon a protein complex cyclin and cdk cdk means cyclin dependent kinase cyclin dependent kinase. What is the function of kinase enzyme? Adding phosphate to the target substrate. 
substrate that means phosphorylation so cdk is a, uh, cdk is also a type of kinase enzyme that can add um, phosphate to the target substrate but its activation cdk activation is depend upon cyclin that's why it is calling cyclin dependent kinase the binding of cyclin this green color one is cyclin and this red color one is cdk the binding of cyclin will activate cdk now this cdk is active they can add phosphate group to target protein okay so this uh, cdk become active when binding with cyclin and they can add phosphate to the target substrate but cyclin is an important regulator of cell cycle it is an cyclin is an important regulator of cell cycle because it can undergo synthesis and degradation in each stage of the cell cycle there are four types of cyclin there are four types of cyclin g1 cyclin which is g1 cyclin cyclin d g1 s cyclin which is g1 s cyclin cyclin e then s cyclin which is s cyclin cyclin a and m cyclin which is m cyclin cyclin b so there are four types of cyclin g1 cyclin that means cyclin d g1 to s cyclin cyclin e s cyclin that means cyclin a and m cyclin that means cyclin b see this picture here you can see that in g1 phase cyclin d will bind with cdk4 or 6 and in the end of g1 phase that means g1 to s cyclin e will bind with cdk2 and in the s phase cyclin a will bind with cdk2 and in m phase cyclin b will bind with cdk1 okay so if appropriate uh, cyclin is not present or it level is low then cyclin cdk complex will not form so cell cycle will arrest at that particular stage that is called regulation of cell cycle so cyclin is an important regulator of the cell cycle and there are three major checkpoint in cell cycle g1 checkpoint g2 checkpoint and m phase checkpoint okay so in the checkpoint it is ensure that each phase of the cell cycle is carried out correctly if it is not carried out correctly then the cell cycle will arrest at that stage okay now we are entering into our main topic of discussion role of rb protein in cell cycle regulation rb protein means rectinoblastoma protein and uh, as we discussed there are three checkpoint g1 checkpoint g2 checkpoint and m phase checkpoint and this rectinoblastoma protein is playing important role in g1 checkpoint okay so this rb protein is responsible for entry of cell cycle to s phase from g1 to s phase okay so rectinoblastoma protein is responsible for blocking s phase entry we can represent rectinoblastoma protein as prb and uh, genus rb okay so rb is a tumor suppressor gene this is 
very important. RB is a tumor suppressor gene. That means its inactivation will lead to cancer called retinoblastoma. Retinoblastoma. So, RB gene inactivation will lead to cancer called retinoblastoma. Loss of function mutation of RB is associated with the disease retinoblastoma. In our one of the lecture video, we discussed about loss of function and gain of function mutation. If you didn't watch, then please do watch that video. The link is here in the i button. Okay. So, loss of function mutation of RB is associated with a disease called retinoblastoma. We can represent the normal one as RB plus RB plus homozygous dominant. This is normal. Heterozygous is also normal. RB plus RB minus. But here one mutated allele is there. But the phenotype is normal. And diseased one is RB minus RB minus. This is homozygous recessive. Okay. And this PRB is the substrate for G1 cycling CDK complex. In early G1, cyclin D, CDK4, 6 and uh, in end of the G1, um, cyclin E, CDK2. So, PRB is the substrate for G1 cyclin CDK complex. That means, this G1 cyclin CDK complex will phosphorylate this PRB. Okay. And P, this RB protein repress gene transcription. Record for transition from G1 to S phase by binding to the transcription factor called E2F. Here you can see that this is RB protein, red color one and this is E2S. This is transcription factor. E2F is a transcription factor. It is needed for the synthesis of proteins in S phase. S phase protein like uh, cyclin A and um, proteins that is required for the DNA replication that is include DNA polymerase. So, this E2F is required for the synthesis of S phase protein. That means transcription of transcription of genes for S phase entry. If this E2F is not free, then it is not able to transcribe this gene that is required for the S phase protein synthesis. Okay. If this RB protein is binding with E2F, then this E2F is not free. So, it is not able to transcribe genes for the synthesis of S phase protein. Okay. So, proteins involved in this G1 checkpoints are retinoblastoma protein, E2F that is the transcription factor, then G1 cyclin that means early G1 cyclin D, CDK, 4, 6 and at the end of G1 cyclin E, CDK, Two. So, these are the proteins or protein complex that is involved in G1 checkpoint. Okay. So, let's see how this RB protein is regulating cell cycle. Okay. So, here this red circle is RB protein and this green square is E2 of transcription factor. This is unphosphorylated RB. Unphosphorylated. 
rilated RB. Okay. And here phosphorylation is there, and here more phosphorylation is there. Okay. So here this RB protein is unphosphorylated. So in unphosphorylated condition, this RB protein can bind with E2F. E2F is the transcription factor that is required for the transcription of gene for S phase protein synthesis. Now this E2F is not free, so it is inactive. Okay. In early G1, in early G1, cyclin DCDK46 complex that will phosphorylate this RB protein. But this phosphorylation is less, so it is hypophosphorylated. In hypophosphorylated condition also, E2F, RB protein can bind with E2F. Now also, this E2F is inactive. Okay, and at the end of G1 phase, cyclin E CDK2 complex will phosphorylate RB protein more. Now it is hyperphosphorylated RB. This hyperphosphorylated RB will release E2F. So this E2F is free now and that is active. So this active E2F can bind with the promoter and that will lead to transcription of genes required for synthesis of S phase proteins. Okay. So transcription of S phase genes will occur. So uh, the protein required for S phase will synthesis. So, the cell will enter into S phase. Okay. So, in unphosphorylated condition or in hypophosphorylated condition, this RB protein is active. And in hyperphosphorylated condition, this RB protein is inactive so it is not able to bind with e2f so e2f can bind with the promoter and that that will lead to the transcription of s phase genes okay but in the case of rectinoblastoma cancer this rb gene is mutated that means expression of rb gene will not occur if RB protein is absent, then E2F will be always free. So, continuous transcription of S phase gene will occur. So, there is no arrest in G1 checkpoint. Okay, there is no arrest in G1 checkpoint. And that will lead to rectinoblastoma. Okay, I think this is clear for you. If you like this video and find it helpful, then please click the like button, share this video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe this channel. Follow us on Instagram, follow our Facebook page and join our Telegram channel. Keep learning. Thank you.